What's going on everybody, it's King Starscream here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my island. So if you haven't already hit that subscription button for me, go ahead and do that right now, and we will jump on into this. Also, be sure to stick around after the video for news about an exclusive giveaway I'm doing on my Instagram, so be sure to check that out, and again, let's jump on into this. Alright everybody, hello and welcome to my island. So, my island's name is Dragonfang, and the basic concept of this island is it once was a volcano that is now hollowed out, and we live inside of it to uh, be sheltered from the elements and stuff like that. So, it's pretty flourishing, I love my island, I spend so much time on it. Um, this is pre-update, I do have the 2.0 update up run right now, but I haven't done anything to it yet. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a tour and hopefully you guys like it. Here's all my villagers. I got Raymond, Fauna, Lucky, Stitches, Dom, Sherb, Audie, Bo, Molly, and Judy. So those are all my villagers. So let's go ahead and take the tour. So right when you enter the airport, you have three options. You can go left, right, or up into the plaza. So left and right are usually for people who know where they're going here. So we'll go ahead and enter through the plaza. I got this real nice waterfall entrance with all these plants and all these statues and flowers and stuff like that. It's one of my favorite parts of the island. And then once you get up here, you can see it's still dressed up for Halloween because it is Halloween night on Dragon Fang. So it's pretty cool. I uh, have fun with my island. I got all these kind of secret little spots that I won't go into, but... You can find all these little spots when you guys come and visit. Be sure to follow me on Instagram again for all the uh, giveaways I'm going to be doing. And again, at the end of this video, we'll have some giveaway stuff going for you guys. Alright, so this is the center plaza. This takes you everywhere you need to go. We're going to go ahead and do the downward spot right now and check out Sherb's house. Sherb over here has this little dog and a tree. He's got two mushroom lamps and a mermaid goat statue. I love Sherp's house, it's cute. Down here we got Molly's house. She got a lot of flowers and cute girl stuff because she's so cute. She also has a beachside house, check her out. She is super, super cute. I love Molly and then we're gonna go ahead and go up here real quick. To the left we have some stuff I'm gonna show you before we head up here into the pumpkin patch area. Go across this bridge and head down and you'll end up at the surf shop where you can buy a surfboard and hit the ocean and take on all the waves. Over here you have all the sun tanning spots with the lifeguard chair. You can go ahead and take a boat ride over here if you want. Then we'll go ahead and enter this haunted forest. No, I'm just kidding. It's not haunted, but it is overgrown and I do like that about my island. It's still got some sort of a natural feel on this side. Not too incorporated yet. Got some ducks, some stones and stuff like that. But once you get over here, you are at a fork in the road. You can go left or right. So we'll go ahead and check out this left area. This is my mushroom forest area where stuff's getting a little funky. Plus you got this spooky carriage over here. But really that's the date night spot for when you want to get away with your loved one. Then we come back down and head up here. And this is the way to the campsite, one of my favorite spots in this place. So the campsite's really cozy. We do have a camper in there. It's got an upstairs too. You just gotta know the secret to get there. I'll show you that later on. We do have a guest day at our campsite. Let's, so let's check out who that is. Hope you guys are happy to see that it is. Here we go. Chino, look how cute she is. Hey, thanks for inviting me. I was so excited I had a zip right over. So she's cute. I'm planning on adding her to the uh, village soon. So be sure to hit subscription button to follow more Animal Crossing updates for my island. So we'll go ahead and, in, and check out the rest of the island. We'll head down here. 
This is the campsite's eating area where you can have dinner and barbecue. There's also a DIY table and a trash can so you can keep everything all tidy. If you look up here, you can see the waterfall. We got some ducks, we got some turtles and stuff like that. Again, I really love my campsite area. And if you come down this way, you have a fishing area where you can get a bunch of tackle and stuff to go on that long fishing trip you've been planning. So go ahead and check that out when you guys come over to Dragonfang. There will be bait and fishing rods aplenty for you to take home and fish at your own islands. Alright, so we'll come down here. And this is the pumpkin patch. This is where all the spooky ghosts and ghouls like to come and hang out before the holiday festivities to buy all their pumpkins and get them ready to carve for the Halloween things. Uh, festivities. Sorry, I can't talk right now. So we'll come out here, and uh, on the side of this where there's beach, I don't really have anything going on yet. There are some secret spots, but I will go ahead and show off this beach. I got a lot of work to do over here. Um, there's plenty of work to do. I got the secret campsite entrance where you can just, you know, whoop right through there. And there's also a place where you can sit and enjoy some live music when the band is out and playing. And also, if you know where you're going, there's a little secret place over here, but we won't get into that right now. That's still unincorporated. So let's head back to the center area, and we'll go ahead and show off some more of the island. Again, I spent a long time on my island. I know it's not too impressive or crazy uh, like some other people's islands, but again, I just really love the ambience here. It's really cozy. It's just a place for me and my villagers, you know what I mean? We got some flowers and stuff over here. It's real nice, you know, I just, I love it. So we'll go ahead and check out the right side of the island and then we'll head up these stairs and I'll show you the top. So we're gonna go ahead and check out this area. This is where the shops are. We got the clothing shop and then the nooks cranny. So that's where those are. And down here we got some phone booths, some places to get some concessions if you want some snacks and stuff like that. It's right next to this little park where you can take a break, get some coffee, maybe some cotton candy or a fortune cookie after you had a busy shopping day. So we'll go left here first and I'll go ahead and show off uh, this little area here which is my Chinese sushi restaurant. You can go ahead and kick it up with some sushi here, get some wasabi or some soup, whatever you guys want going on, California roll, anything you want, just make sure the chef has the fish in stock. And that brings us to this next part, this is my entrance to my museum. I still have some weeds to pick as you can see and some stuff to do over here, but that's being saved for the update because I have some plans with the new items. So. Speaking of the museum, to the right of the museum we have a special fossil digging area where you can go ahead and pick up some fossil souvenirs from the museum itself. Go ahead and find a Tyrannosaurus skull or a Stegosaurus spike tail, anything you want, we'll find it there. In the center of town we got our fountain and some more pumpkins. It's just the plaza, it's a nice little place to sit. Off to the right we have another little sitting area. This is our Stonehenge Preserve area surrounded by our golden rose bushes and you can just take a load off and relax there or if you want to get something to eat you can come down here to our Italian restaurant and get some food maybe enjoy the scenery. It's on a moonlit area. It's really nice. Alright so that's that area We'll show you the real City Hall Plaza. This is where everything's at. Over here we got the last of the little plaza area. This is my cake shop with my boba stand so you can get something to eat and something to drink. And then this again is the plaza. Look at Judy, she's killing it, making me laugh. On this side of the plaza we have the little Zen garden so Tom Nook and uh, Isabel can take a load off from the day and go meditate a little bit and have some good thoughts before going back to work. Alright, so we'll backtrack one more time and we'll come down here and this is Stitch's house. He's got a lot of creepy little spooky stuff because he's a funny little guy. He's got an alien in his yard. 
dropping people off. He's also got a train set, which is really cool. So I like Stitch's Yard. And then we got Lucky. Again, Lucky's a spooky guy too. So he's got a lot of bees and bugs. He's got a pet scorpion. It's pretty cool. Don't pet the scorpion or you might get pinched. So that leaves another area over here to be shown off. Oh, there's Jack. Jack came out. This is my lighthouse park. You can come here and get some fresh air, go fishing maybe, check out the sights, check out that lighthouse. It's pretty cool. It's pretty loud over here, but it's worth going on. So again, it's a nice little spot to relax, which leaves a few more spots to show off. We'll go ahead and go up here, and this is where you're going to want to go if you want to have some fun in my village. So. This is where the villagers come. Oh, you gotta pick these weeds. Can't have those. This is where the villagers come to blow some steam off if they want to buy some arcade tokens and play at the arcade, win some prizes, have some fun and play some games, or they can come over here to the boardwalk and they can get on these toys, they can ride the rides. There's more rides coming soon and they can pretend they're pirates and stuff like that. We also have our own McDonald's, so if you wanna get some nuggets or a Big Mac, go ahead and check out our pier. So that's all the downstairs areas, and I have one final spot to show you guys. The beaches on this side, again, there's not much going on. I don't really have too much to show you, but we'll go ahead and show you the last area, which is where all the villagers live. Like some villagers like to live down here, but most of the villagers stay up here on the third level. So we enter there, come over here past the shops. You got a nice little DIY area up here and this is when you enter the housing area. We have a park coming soon right here where you can walk your dog. Right here we have Audie's house. She's got a little beach funk vibe so she's pretty chilling. Over here you got Raymond's house. He's got his cat scratcher and his owl out there he's got a bird he's got some plants and stuff going on yes Raymond this is your house I see that all right so up here we have J Miss Judy's house she's got her own little fountain and some roses in her yard she's got a mermaid lamp and all that cute stuff and over here we have some more stuff I can show off this is my house you can see I have a car I got my gas pump and my locker I got my external uh, storage here in my silo. I got some nice cherry blossoms and some trees, my statues or stuff, some roses, my barbecuer. My house is gonna be getting some upgrades, but it is right on the waterfall and it is pretty nice. It's right next to this little, uh, another lighthouse spot where you can check this telescope, you know, check out some nice views there. And there's also even a water fountain. And over here we have Dom's house. He's got his weight set, his punching bag, his bicycle, and his barbecue because he's all about health. And this is where we get all of our local TV is the Nook Inc. satellite dish. So if you want to watch some MTV or some Nickelodeon, be sure to talk to Tom Nook about getting some service. And from up here you can see all the prizes and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. You got um, Bo's house here. Bo has his own little pumpkin patch as well as a cherry blossom pond and well last but not least we have Fauna's house. Fauna also has her own pumpkin patch. It's overlooking the bridge on the waterfall. It's a pretty nice little area. Fauna's got a sweet setup. She's got a lot of plants and stuff as well so that's pretty cool. So I only have one last area to show you guys. It's right next to my house. It's my little look at the stars area. This is my little date night area. So this is where I go to chill. You know, you can look at the sky and the stars when, when it's um, showering with the, you know, shooting stars out here. I like to come up here and wish upon a star. It's right next to the well. We got a little aviary up here where all the birds go and stuff so that's pretty cool and uh my maintenance tower for the waterfall so that's my village you guys 
it's been nice having you. I really hope you guys come and visit. There's a lot of stuff that's coming with this new update, but it's been King Starscream. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stick around for a few seconds after this so you can hear about the giveaway I'm doing. It's been King Starscream here. Like always, remember your training and stay safe out there. Alright everybody, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram on Saturday, November 6th. So, I'll be giving away some froggy chairs, some ABDs, some Brewsteroids, as well as some teddy bear backpacks. I'll have the link below to my Instagram in the description. Be sure to hit that subscription button as well. Come get your free stuff, you guys. I'll have plenty to give to everybody. Follow me on Instagram. Again, the link is below in the description. Like always, remember your training. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.